question that we get a lot is, you know, how do we get back when our hot air balloon ride or hot air balloon flight is over? You know, do you land at the same place where we started or is there someone that picks us up? How does this all work? So every once in a while, we'll get really lucky and the winds will be in our favor and we can land at the exact same spot of where we started. Now, most of the time, though, it's not going to be like that and we're going to end up uh, landing somewhere totally different, whether that's maybe a half a mile or five or six or eight miles away from where we started. Now, during your flight, uh, you'll notice that there's a car or a truck that follows us with our crew that helps set up the balloon initially. And they follow us in a couple different ways. One is we talk on walkie-talkies, and the pilot, myself, will let the crew know exactly the direction we're going and where we plan on landing or hey we're just going to come down a little lower right now and you'll see us pop up in a minute or eventually you know we're going to be landing over at um, you know Flying H Airport or this one farm. Now the other way that they keep track of us is they actually use a really cool app called Glimpse and Glimpse is tied into our hot air app so that the ground crew is actually able while they're driving is able to see you know, the direction we're going and how fast we're going and the predicted um, area we should be landing within the 10 minute period, which is kind of neat. So it lets them know should they stay on the Enumclaw side of the valley, should they drive around over the Auburn to the west side of the valley, uh, on the other side of Lake, on the uh, west side of Lake Taps, so that it's not a long drive or long pickup once we land. Now, once we do land, uh, hopefully the crew has done a great job in following us. They're there right when we land. Um, once we pack the balloon up, uh, so we pack the basket up, we pack the actual envelope up, and you're welcome to help with that part if you want to. We get it all in the truck and in the, in the trailer, and then we'll do our white, our uh, champagne uh, toast. And we do this white tablecloth. It's pretty awesome. We open our champagne bottles with a sword and... Um, and we have fresh um, strawberries and we have, you know, freshly baked croissants and um, sometimes we'll get fresh French baguettes from one of the local bakeries. And we have this delicious feast. And once we're done with that, then we'll all hop back in the cab of the truck and we'll drive back to where your cars were originally.